Hello there, and welcome back to my bed. <laughs> okay, the painting I'm doing in this video, I actually wanted to make a vlog of, kind of the same as the painting vlog I did before, where I filmed myself doing every step of it and discussed it kind of at the time. But then I didn't do that. I, I just didn't. Um, pretty much every night when I sat to paint for a while I thought to myself I should film a vlog part before I do this and then I didn't do it and painting takes ages right it's it's an oil painting so it took a couple of weeks and I thought that every single day and I didn't do it pretty much every day I think I filmed some clips during the process near the end but I didn't do it and I didn't do it and now it's finished, it's dry, it's varnished and I still never did the vlog part of it. <laughs> so here I am now. I'm going to sort of talk about what this is and why. Um, if you've been following my videos for a while or if you watch some of my older art videos, you may remember me talking about how I'm a very active dreamer and I like to draw and paint things that I have seen in my dreams. Um, that is what it is. That's still true. That is still what this painting is. I still do that a lot and I plan on making a whole series of them, I guess. Because I, I'm going to be doing these paintings and drawings anyway and I like filming stuff and I like making videos so I figured I might as well make videos of it. I'm, I am also aware that my art videos are my least popular videos and I am aware that other people's dreams aren't really that interesting to most people. Like I have absolutely no expectation that anyone out there would give a toss about what I dreamt. So this series of videos is probably going to be purely just kind of a personal project, I guess. I mean, obviously if you do like them, then that's great. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're here to enjoy them with me. But for the most part, I think this series is just going to be for my own amusement, really. <laughs> I guess I might do a voiceover over some of them describing the dream maybe because I have like a book that I keep um I keep a record of everything in like at some of one of the first things I do in the morning is make some tea and then sit and write everything I remember from what I dreamt and I have a big book of them now and <laughs> a lot of the time it's just nonsense but some of it's fun and I also do like little sketches in that book of things that I remember seeing. Bit random, whatever. Has nothing to do with the content of this channel, nothing to do with OG fashion other than other than the set I'm wearing today I suppose. But whatever. Anyway, so the process of this painting was slightly different than what I normally do. I did the sketch on canvas and I used roll canvas it isn't like a solid canvas it's it's a roll anyway I did the base drawing on the canvas and then I decided to kind of do the shading first so I put all the values in in black and white I used uh, black and white acrylic paint for the base painting which is not something I've ever done before I don't really know why I decided to do it for the first time ever on this painting. I just did. It was just an impulse decision. So I used black and white acrylic. I put in all the tonal values, well, roughly, I guess, before starting on colour and I did all the colour in oil paint, which is a different way of working and it worked out quite well, I think. Um, I didn't have any problems with it. I don't know that I would do it again soon. I I don't know. I mean, I might. 
right? But I might experiment with doing the underpainting in different colours instead of just black and white and then painting the proper colours on top of that in oil because that's a technique that most painters use, you know, doing your underpainting in a different colour. And that could be fun. I might do that. But yeah, so this time I started with black and white and moved on to colour. And then I just kind of kept going and kept going over days and days and days because that's what it takes for oil paint. That's how it is. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot else to say. I guess if anything else relevant comes up, I'll put a little note on screen telling you. But nothing else relevant springs to mind.
forgot that the phone app has filters. I am hoping to finish the painting tonight. Tonight. But I said that last night as well. So, you never know. What do you think? Hmm? There's my girl. I have been trying to use TikTok more because, I, I don't know, it just seems fun and I have a few ideas for things to make on there and it seems like a better platform for the weird aesthetic videos I make sometimes. But um, they also have that green screen filter so I've been using that to just kind of walk into my paintings because I can, right? And it's it's weird. It feels weird, I think, because a lot of my paintings and drawings are of things and places that I dream about because I have really intense dreams. I've talked about that in art videos before. So it's like I dream it and then draw it out and now I can kind of use that green screen filter to try and go back into it. Is that weird? Probably. Don't really mind though. So that's that. It's done. I'll put a picture here. Maybe here. I don't know. I might make prints of this for my shop. Um, I have a lot of prints of other oil paintings I've done. Um, also there are videos of the ones I have prints of. So they'll all be available in a playlist and prints in the shop and so on. There's links to everything. Don't worry about it. I also have a Patreon if you want to support me on Patreon. Um, <laughs> Other than that, I hope you enjoy this kind of video. If you do, leave me a comment, let me know. Uh, let me know about your weirdest dream as well. I'm curious, I want to know. I've got nothing else to say. That's all. Have a good one. Good night. Bye.